Remember the first time you pulled the Master Sword from its pedestal or played the ocarina to change the flow of time? Now you can experience all those thrilling moments again, but with the added flexibility and power of the Steam Deck. Ocarina of Time is definitely the most popular game in the Zelda series, and while support for it is coming to the Majora's Mask Recompiled project, there's already a native PC port available right now. This port, known as the Ship of Harkinian, comes with tons of extra features, including randomizer support, custom model and texture support, cheats, and much more. In today's episode, we will walk you through each step, from downloading the necessary files to tweaking settings for the best performance. By the end of this video, you'll have Ocarina of Time running smoothly on your Steam Deck, ready for you to save Hyrule anytime, anywhere. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Installing the Legend of Zelda First, head to desktop mode and navigate to the ship of Harkinian GitHub page to find the latest release. Download the Linux slash Steam Deck version, which is the one labeled with a giant button. Right now, it is version 8.0.5. Once you've downloaded the file, extract it into a new folder. For ease of access, I recommend creating a folder on your desktop, but any location will work as long as you keep everything organized in one place. Next, you'll need a PAL copy slash ROM of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. While Steam Deck HQ supports emulation for game preservation, we do not condone piracy, so you'll need to obtain this legally. Once you have the ROM, place it in the same directory where you extracted the ship of Harkinian files. Your folder should look something like this. Path to your folder with ROM. Now run the soh.appimage file in the folder. This will generate the necessary OTR files and folders needed to use the program. After this process completes, right-click on the soh.appimage file and select Add to Steam. This will add a shortcut to game mode once you switch back. With that done, you should be set to play the game. Enhancing your experience with custom textures. While the original style of the game is iconic, you might want to enhance it with better textures. It can give the game a fresh feel, and toggling them on and off is quite easy. I recommend using UT Reloaded from Ghostly Dark. For the Steam Deck, download the UT Reloaded V10.4.2so Odor HD.7Z for the regular HD version. You can opt for the 4K resolutions, but it's not necessary for the deck's small screen. Once you have the file, open it to find four different OTR files. Move these files to the Mods folder in the Ship of Harkinian directory. Now, when you're in-game, you can toggle alternate textures through the Enhancements menu. This small tweak can significantly enhance the visual experience without compromising the original charm of the game. Adjusting Controls and Settings To apply enhancements in the game, you need to bring up a small menu at the top of the screen and click on the enhancements you want. Since this menu isn't accessible without a keyboard, you'll need to change some settings. I recommend modifying the trackpads. On the left trackpad, create a virtual menu that can bring up the enhancements menu, save and load states, and toggle custom textures. On the right trackpad, set it to act as a mouse, with pressing the trackpad emulating a left mouse click. This setup allows you to interact with the menu smoothly and easily. Another useful tweak is changing the framerate and internal resolution. From the Settings tab in the Enhancements menu, you can increase the internal resolution to 200% and set the FPS to 60 or 90 if preferred. You can also match the refresh rate if desired, but remember to adjust the FPS manually if you change the refresh rate. These adjustments ensure the game runs smoothly and looks its best on the Steam Deck. Going into the Randomizer feature, one of the coolest features of Ship of Harkinian is the integrated randomizer support. This feature randomizes various aspects of the game, like the items you pick up, making each playthrough unique and exciting. To use the randomizer, you'll first need to generate the randomizer file in-game. After booting up the game, open the Enhancements menu and go to the Randomizer tab. You can adjust the settings if you like, but the default options are fine too. Click on Generate Randomizer, and the file will be created. To access the randomizer, start a new game and select the randomizer quest option. This feature breathes new life into Ocarina of Time, offering a fresh and unpredictable gaming experience every time you play. It's perfect for veteran players looking for a new challenge. Final thoughts. Setting up the Legend of Zelda, 
Ocarina of Time PC port on the Steam Deck might seem complicated at first, but with the ship of Harkinian and a bit of guidance, it's a breeze. This port not only preserves the magic of the original game, but also enhances it with modern features like higher resolutions, better textures, and randomizer support. The Steam Deck's versatility makes it an ideal platform for experiencing this classic game in a new light. Whether you're a longtime fan or new to Ocarina of Time, the Ship of Harkinian offers an exceptional way to enjoy the game. Hats off to the Harbor Masters for creating such a fantastic port. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, drop a comment down below letting us know your thoughts, and of course, subscribe to our channel for more awesome content like this. See you in the next one.